Hey everybody, Chili here from the Crypto Nerds, and today we're going to dump our monthly VPS bill and cook ourselves a GunBot Pie. Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to need is a Raspberry Pi. The one I want you to get for this tutorial, the one I'm going to use for this tutorial, is the Raspberry Pi, a Raspberry Pi 3 Model B. And if you go to raspberrypi.org, you'll find them here. And I'll link everything that you need down in the description. The nice thing about a Raspberry Pi is they're about 35 bucks. So if you click now, and depending on what country you're from, I'm from the United States, it'll give you all kinds of options. Remember, you can always go to Amazon, and that's where I bought my first Pi. The only thing is, is that they seem to charge a lot more money, and they want you to buy a kit. For this, you don't need a kit. We only need three pieces. And the most important piece is the Raspberry Pi 3 board. So I live uh, in Massachusetts, and actually close to Boston, so I have a micro center here. So if I click it, and I can see right now, I could run down there right now for 30 bucks. I could come home with my Raspberry Pi. But we need two more pieces. We're going to need a micro SD card. It doesn't have to be big, and it doesn't have to be fancy. The GunBot, while it is a very beautiful piece of software, it doesn't take up much resources. So right here, you can see for $7 Prime, you can have this shipped to your house. And it only needs to be 16 gigabytes. This is the one. This is the exact same card I'll be using in this tutorial. Now we need one more piece. We need to power the unit. And this is very important that you get the right one. I did a quick search for a micro US. Uh, USB plug is very important that it is 2.5 amps that is what the Raspberry Pi runs on now the plug that goes to your phone or charges all these other little electronic equipment they will work and power the Pi but it needs to be 2.5 amps because we're going to be running this Pi 24 7 we don't want to uh, cause any overheating or failures or underpowering this so for eight bucks, you can grab this. So now we're dumping our monthly bill, and I don't know what you paid, but I paid about seven bucks a month. And for less than 50, we're gonna be setting this up in our home where we control it all the time. Now that we have all of our equipment came into us, oh, the delivery lady just gave it, thank you very much. Now we need to go over to raspberrypi.org and download Raspbian. So right here, you download it. I'm not gonna make you watch that. I've already pre-downloaded it. We're gonna need another thing. We're going to need to head over to GitHub and grab this link right here. This is the ARM link. I know that a Raspberry Pi is Linux, but it is based on the ARM chip. Uh, so download this link right here, and I'll put it down in the description. We now need a third thing to download, and I like to use Etcher. You can use whatever you want, but for this tutorial, I'll be using Etcher. Head over to etcher.io and download the version that you need, a little drop down menu, and got it. So now we have everything we need to bake our GunBot Pi. So let's get started. So here you can see I have Etcher open, and Etcher is such a beautifully simple program. Watch how easy this is. So I have my, uh, my Raspberry Pi download right here, and I'm just going to drag and drop it, bam. So it is there. Now I don't know if this is going to set up your. Um, your USB card the same so you have to have the USB card the micro USB card plugged into your computer and I've already done that uh, and right here you can see you can change this to whatever you want and it should pick it up right away that's the great thing about Etcher it's so user friendly and the last thing we got to do to make this work is just hit flash now take a because it is a very large file yes we're gonna let them make changes and I'm not gonna make you watch that as you can see now, our Raspberry Pi operating system has been flashed to that USB card. Now that we have flashed the Raspberry Pi operating system, Raspbian, onto our micro SD card, we need to get the Raspberry Pi ready to accept GunBot. So we're going to need a few things. We're going to need our Raspberry Pi board. We're going to need a monitor or TV. It must be HDMI. That is the only thing that will uh, a Raspberry Pi will accept. Obviously, you're going to need an HDMI cable to go from the Raspberry Pi to your monitor or TV. You will need a USB keyboard, a USB mouse, a power supply, and your SD card. Put all those together, and the last thing you do is power it up, plug it in, power it up. And the first time you power it up, you'll see a black screen with a white box in the middle. It's a Welcome to Raspberry Pi by Raspbian. 
and then you'll see some code going on the top left corner and just letting you know some details and it's installing some things and after about two or three minutes maybe five minutes at the max you will get a screen much like this one we need to do some things before we can actually install GunBot. So the very first thing we need to do is turn on the internet for this. <clears throat> so in the top right corner, you're going to see the little internet icon. You're going to click it, and here you're going to be able to select where your Wi-Fi is. Now if you don't have Wi-Fi, you can plug this directly into the Ethernet. But I have lots of Pis, and I like I like the fact that the Pi has a Wi-Fi uh, connection already on it, so I use it, and it's it works wonderful. I've been running my GunBot Pi for a very long time without any interruptions on my internet. So now we need to go into the top left corner because we need to set some things. And there's going to be a little icon. It's the official Raspberry Pi logo. And it's basically their menu option. So if you click it, you're going to get a drop down. You want to go down to Preferences and then all the way down to Raspberry Pi Configuration. Here it's going to give you the host name. Now this is optional but I set mine to GunBot Pi. I have lots of Raspberry Pis around my house doing lots of different things. And if I look at my network and they all say Raspberry Pi, it's difficult to know which Raspberry Pi is doing what for when I want to connect to it, specifically if I need to get their IP addresses. So I've named this one GunBot Pi. So when I go and look through my router, I can see, oh, that's GunBot Pi, and this is its IP address. We then need to go over to interfaces. These are all disabled by default. As you can see, I've enabled two of them. This allows me to go headless. In other words, I don't need to use, I don't need to keep a mouse and keyboard and monitor connected to this. I can connect to my Raspberry Pi through my desktop or laptop computer. So I want you to enable SSH and enable VNC. SSH, I connect with a little software program called Putty. I'll show you that in a future video. And one of my favorite ways for new people that have Raspberry Pi is VNC. This is a graphical interface and this is how I'm actually recording this video. And it's very user friendly and what you see is what you get. You actually see the desktop. So once that's all set, we need to go over to localization. This step cannot be skipped. It is highly important. This is what GunBot uses. You need to set your time zone. So you can already see that this is set properly but I'm in the United States so I'm gonna go down to US and it's gonna give me all my little states here and stuff I'm gonna select Eastern because that's where I'm at and I'm gonna hit OK and you'll notice in the top corner that your date and time will change to the proper one and you can hit OK now we need to make a few more changes Actually, we need to update this Pi. So in this top left corner, a few icons over, you're going to see this thing that looks like or says it's a terminal. And that's exactly what it is. We're going to open it. So we're going to get this little prompt, and we need to type a few things in. So we're going to type in sudo app get update. It's going to go through, and it's going to throw some code at you. And this is kind of... If you're a nerd like me, I enjoy watching this stuff go by, and I'm not sure why. I even enjoy watching the GunBot work. Once we have that, we need to do sudo app get, and this one will be upgrade. And this one will just take what it just downloaded and upgrade it. Now, yours may take a little bit longer. Do I want to continue? I'm going to hit yes. Boom. And it's going to go through all its stuff and it's going to update all these wonderful things. And it's going to get your Pi ready to accept GunBot. And this may take a little while, and that's okay. So let's let it update its stuff. Now that the Pi is done updating, we need to go over to the web browser, which is the second icon from the top left. And we need to download GunBot. And I know I told you earlier in the video to download it, but we need to actually put it onto the Pi. So this is where we're going to do the official download. And we'll say, hey, Chili, maybe you should um, review what you do before you do it. So here we're going to do the very top link, GunBot XT Edition ARM package, zip, or whatever edition that you have. But make sure that you have get the ARM version. You don't want Linux. You want ARM because of the chip. Now that GunBot is done downloading, we need to go to the download folder and extract it. To do that, 
is the third icon from the top left called File Manager. We're going to click it. And here we can see the Downloads folder. We're going to double click that and we'll see now our GunBot file, our zip files right here. So all we need to do is double click that file and we're going to get the X Archiver pop up. Give it a second. Remember the Raspberry Pi is just a, a little micro computer. It's not going to run as fast as your super awesome gaming computer. And the second file down, we're going to see a GunBot XT edition or whatever edition that you have, the ARM package. And then right here, this icon right here, extract files, we're going to click it. And we're going to extract all of these files. Hit extract. And we're going to let it do its thing. Extracting files from archive, please wait. You guys see a little flashing button there. So we're going to give it time. And our files have been extracted. We now see the GunBot folder here. And if we open it up, we're going to start seeing some files. And you may recognize these if you've already set up GunBot before, and you may not need any further assistance. And if that's the case, I salute you and have fun. But for those that are setting this up for the first time, let's continue on. So what we want to do is double click the Gunthy GUI or GUI icon. It's going to ask us if we want to execute it, execute in terminal or cancel. So I'm going to hit execute in terminal. We're going to have our little terminal pop up and we're going to wait a few seconds. And it's already working. So here it says uh, we are now can go to a local host dash 500 or colon 500. So we're going to go back up to our web browser. We're going to open our web browser up. We're going to type in localhost 5000 and this is where we're going to be able to start setting up GunBot. So the first thing it's going to ask you is to create a password. I'm going to simply put in a quick password here. I'm going to create my password. My account has now been created. So this is really, this is where you're now just playing with GunBot. So if you have an import that you want to bring in from a previous version, you can do that. But since this is a new version on a Raspberry Pi, you probably don't have access to your import. So let's start without an import. And the very first thing it's going to want to do, ask you to do is select which exchange and put your API keys. I use Binance, so I'd select Binance and then I would put my API keys in here and you would get that from Binance. I'm not going to do that because then you'll see my keys and I don't want you to see my keys. But once that's all set up, then you can go through the rest of the GunBot setup, which I will do in another video. But I'll show you what my GunBot Pi looks like running. So I'm now logged into my main GunBot Pi. And here you can see six different versions of the bot running. And each version is running a, a different strategy. Um, if you're familiar with Anna, any of what the GunBot consoles look like. You can see that two of these are emotionless. And it's something I'm trying. It's something new that came out with uh, GunBot. So I'm trying that out. Uh, two of them are BB step gain with RSI. And the other two are just step gain. And a lot of what I'm doing is just testing and, and gathering data. And in future videos, I'll show you how Clicks and I gather data, what we do with that data, and how we improve our strategies with GunBot. But right now, you can see on my GunBot Pi, six versions running. Each version is running seven pairs. So six times seven is 42 pairs are being traded. And I've actually had um, all, all of the pairs on Binance running, although I don't think that's a great strategy. So right now I'm running 42 pairs. And in future videos, I'll show you how to set all this up and show you the settings I have. Until next time, I hope you enjoy your GunBot Pi.